There's a New York Knicks team that comes in 17 and 12 and coming off a victory against the Milwaukee Bucks on Christmas Day at the Garden. And we are underway as Shea. Defended by DiVincenzo, good defensive player. Holmgren from three on the outside, no good. As Shea, defended by DiVincenzo, good defensive player. Holmgren from three on the outside, no good. He fires it up top to DiVincenzo. There is Barrett from the outside, three no good. We see the battle there for the rebound between Hartstein and Holmgren. That's terrific finish. Holmgren driving, fading, tough shot, got it up over Hartenstein. Boy, Chet Holmgren. Here's Chet Holmgren taking it up the floor. Holmgren too strong on the layup attempt. Offensive rebound from SGA. And has come off the bench for Mark Dagnon. was very complimentary of him, particularly in that Houston game. It's Chet Holmgren, nice move there to get that one up and in. Trying to keep quickly out of the lane, but that was a quick spin move. Quickly left it a little bit short. Holmgren somehow scooped it up and in. Wow. He somehow got between those two Knicks defenders. Holmgren off the deck, no good from three. And top tip. Drives baseline. Open man, it's Jay Will. Missed it wide left, no good. Looked like Holmgren had the rebound. He'll put it up and somehow through the contact, he couldn't defend him either. <laughs> Brunson, they'll look past the Randall. It'll look like Holmgren reached down with that right hand, blocked it initially. This is, is that corner three, shortest distance. Holmgren flicked it up with the left hand. Holmgren likes that spin move, and he's still got it up over Hartenstein. He's not a great shot blocker. College ball at Kentucky, originally drafted by the Lakers. And misses that second free throw. Gunner playing through some offensive struggles here in the third quarter. Jordan will drive right into Hartenstein and finish at the rim. That has gotten a lot closer as Holmgren on the flyby from Taj Gibson pulls up at the free throw line and buries it. Trying to deflate that clock as much as possible. It's a running start on Dort. Dort with those four fouls, and Chet Holmgren just wiped them away. It's a two-on-one. He plays with in these types of moments. And Barrett, hard drive. Chet Holmgren in the vicinity. It swings down. Now Wiggins. He'll have to make his move. Cutting inside. Holmgren has to fire it up. Fly by three, no good. A little flat on the three. Contact there, and it looked like Chet Holmgren went into the body of Tosh Gibson, no whistle. Basketball junkie trying to improve after every single experience. And we've seen that over the course of the year as quickly as going to get to the free throw line. We can't give him that title yet, but man, I'll tell you one thing, he's scratching at the door. Seeing more and more as he plays more and more. There's the three from the outside, wasting no time. Catch fire three. Hart trying to start the break. Quickly got caught in the air. Hartenstein with authority, but Chet Holmgren says not on his watch. Hartenstein tied up inside. Six of seven challenges he's won. Giddy almost gave it right back with the deflection there, and it looked like Holmgren was denied by Hartenstein. The block attempt at Holmgren is now going to go to the free throw line. Even though the whistle was blown, if he doesn't go get that ball, it's a jump ball at, at the center court. So because he got it, Rule instituted a couple of years ago. If a team does have imminent possession, then they are awarded the basketball. Coming up with that loose change. See if you can D up Randall and Chet Holmgren on the backside came over for yet another block. Just incredible defense on the other end. Jalen Williams buries the three. Boy, what a game this has been. Holmgren from the corner. And there's another three. 17 of those coming in the fourth quarter. Now you got to play defense. Hartenstein off the lob, and once again, it's Chet Holmgren. Double team on Shea. Over to Kenrich. Kenrich inside. Holmgren's going to get fouled with .9 seconds. And once again, it could not. The Timberwolves, not, you know, not, not as many tonight, but it's the timing of it. All coming in timely fashion.
Just keeping the door locked at the rim. But after the, the Knicks tied it at 81, it was all OKC and fitting that Jalen Williams is going to be able to dribble out this clock. And that's how the Thunder close out this five-game homestand over the Christmas holiday.